Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn about API testing and how to test the APIs using Postman. Okay, it's a very powerful tool for testing the APIs. Okay, by the end of this video, you will learn about what is API testing, why it is very important, and how to run your first API test in Postman tool. Okay, so we'll cover all the basics of the API, setting up the Postman creating simple request and validating the responses right and writing few test scripts so watch till the very end else you will not understand anything there is an interesting and very fun activity as well so watch and stay till the very end so now let's talk about what is an api okay you must have come across these terms and you must be curious to know about what is an api okay so yes, like you, I also was very curious to know about what is an API, how the developer makes an API. So the software or SaaS system that you see nowadays, every SaaS system works on APIs. That is application programming interface. Okay, so API is a, API communicates with each other, okay? With different software, API communicates with software components. So basically there will be a server, okay, may it be your banking application or may it be your uh, flight booking application, may it be your uh, train travel booking application, may it be Swiggy application, Zomato where you order food, there is a server, okay. So there needs to be something uh, on, on that server the data is stored, all the customer data, all the order data, all the ticket data, right, everything is stored on that server, right. So there needs to be some some way or the other to fetch the data and do some operations on it right that's where the application programming interface comes in handy okay so ap applications programming interface or apis communicate with different software components right like how mobile apps communicate with server to get the data right now let's talk about why api testing matters okay so like if you're a software tester fresher or if you are coming into software testing industry you will get a lot of uh, ui related testing there will be courses related to ui testing right ui automation but that is not much beneficial it is beneficial but not that much valuable api testing is very much valuable because testing the api is ensure that the backend servers work as expected before the front end relies on them and the test results of the API testing is much more strong and much more reliable, you can say. So now we are going to see how we can install the Postman, okay. So I already have the Postman installed in our system. If you don't have the Postman installed in your system, you can check this part and you will get to know about the how you can download and install Postman, okay? Postman is a tool used to perform the API testing. It is a very wonderful tool. So for that, simply you have to search Postman download. So once you hit the search query, you will get search results, right? So Click on the first link that opens. Here you will get the official website of Postman, right? They have a beautiful documentation for Postman. So here you will get for macOS and you will also get for uh, Windows as well, right? So if you are in Windows, You can also use Postman in web also, web in the sense you don't have to download and install on your system. You can simply use the web but some features might not be available in a browse version. For that you have to, you can install the uh, Postman application on your uh, Mac, right? So for Windows installation, you can use this
so there is a mac apple chip that is m1 m2 m3 chip you can click this one if you have the mac uh, mac uh, m1 operating chip so since i have already downloaded i won't uh, do this you can check the internet how you can uh, download this one it is very simple one step process so once you download properly the interface of the postman will look like this application that you will see home so in home basically you can uh, find different types of things such as uh, rest api basics right like you can learn about some basics if you click over here it will set up a template so as you can see here rest api basics crud test in variable right all those how to use this template send requests view responses send new body data so all those things you will get in this uh, home and then you can also find end to end testing like here you can get end to end uh, testing right so all those tutorials basically you can get faked fake test data you can generate mocking test data you can generate right so you can explore these things and now the next thing is workspaces so what is workspaces so in workspaces all your created workspaces will come so since you can see here cryo api qtrip vatic bhumi workspace all those things are i have created this workspace that's why it is showing over here so if i click on workspace over here it will open all the workspaces and here you can see all of the apis right all of your collections and apis will be visible in the workspace now what is api network so api network explore and integrate with public apis use internal team apis to ease development so basically these are like you can find here different types of apis see if i click on api spotlight you will get different collections uh, right so you can see trending apis as well so here you can see discord api mock server so if i open the discord api you will get uh, connect connecting to gateway endpoint right so the, basically these are all the public apis that are available for for people to explore you can explore all of these things and uh, use internal team apis to ease the development so, so basically this is like a So here you can create a new workspace where you can develop the APIs right with your team members right so all of these are about uh, API networks right so now let's talk about some other sections here is invite section you can invite uh, other people in this workspace here there is a settings right settings update release notes support center right you can do some uh, tweaking with settings here there is your profile section here there is upgrade right you can upgrade the postman uh, and uh, here now coming to these things here it's like a new new request so you can 
you can import a new request or create a new request over here you can also import url or curl anything you can import over here and then it comes collections as we as we have talked about this before you can create a new collection an environment is there you can create a new environment so like you can create a new environment over here right so this is all about the environment you can explore it yourself you will get to know there is history section as well right so previous all of your requests and response will be shown here and uh, here you can configure your sidebars right sidebar in the sense this particular sidebar you can configure so this is all about this one and uh, so coming to the api part here once you import your api right this is your api suppose this is my uh, get api that i have so here you can change the uh, request type to get post uh, put delete you can change accordingly there will be a drop down and you can send the request over here right here my server is not up and running that's why showing an order here you can include all of your parameters in the api authorization like authorization token you can include over here for private apis and there is headers body you can include over here payload body scripts you can use for testing the api right and settings you can use right this is all about the uh, different api components you can also utilize the cookies section as well right and here you will get the response section where you will see all of the response data in the form of json so this is all about the request and response for the apis now you will see different type of request i will i will place a live request in front of you to, you know, to understand the request and response from the server like how you can validate request and response from the server using the api so i'll show you get post put and delete request right so here is a sample get request basically don't worry about the base url this is a variable here the url will be like this http postman like that the url will be like this so any website that you open right this operations will take place for example i open flipkart you are placing a get request you are logging in you are putting a post request right you are deleting uh, one order you are doing delete request like that operations you are performing so you will see one by one so here is a sample get request so there is a send button here over here once you hit the send button it will give you the server response as you can see here the message you get here is you made a get request right this is all about the get request now let's talk about the post request but before going to post request here you don't need any body right here you don't need any payload body in get request since it is only fetching now we will see post request so in post request body is mandatory so here you will be sending some data to the server so for example i will keep my name Patrick Gomik is in the name so i have included my name in the payload body right and uh, there is no authorization for now there is parameter and there is that uh, endpoint over here right so this is the base URI so once I hit the API it will create it will create 
it will create my data in the server so as you can see the response is message you made a post request to the following data and the data is my name Pradeep Bhumik right and here the response status code is 200 ok so I will talk about it about the status codes in few time so now we have seen get and post request how to hit the request and now we will see put request right so there might be one question arising from your, your end from where I will get the endpoints API endpoints so basically you can find it over here once you click on home and click on rest API basics you can find it over here these are the public APIs basically now let's continue our discussion so now I will update my data so here I have created my data right in the last request we have seen now I want to update the data for that I will hit this endpoint but in the body I will keep my updated name over here in payload also you need the data over here senior QA engineer ok so I will keep my name over here Pratik Bhamik senior QA engineer ok so this is the name over here and uh, once I hit the request it will update my data over here so it has updated my data ok so now I want to delete my data how to delete my data so the data that I have created is uh, the last request I want to delete that so for delete that there is a delete endpoint you can hit this and it will delete my data over here now if I now I want to verify if so it has deleted my data right so this is all about the get post put and delete request so basic uh, request and response right I hope it's understandable to you so now we will see about response body previously we have talked about the request how you can send request and get the response right now we will understand what is the response and what is the response body and how you can read about it so what is the response that you are getting over there so this is the json ok json is javascript object notation ok this is a popular format of uh, data reading right so you get the only json response in http apis right so you have to understand and analyze the data right so for that there are few status codes so I will write it in the notepad how many types of status codes are there ok so there are multiple types of status code but the important ones I will talk about ok 200 2xx series four x x series five x x series so there are multiple status code uh, you can't remember everything so just have to have a basic understanding about the status code so 2xx series means this is a client side error client side error means the user has done some mistake means uh, right you got it I guess 4xx so I'm sorry 2xx series means uh, the everything is fine and the server is giving you perfect response this is known as 2xx series everything is fine the endpoint is fine API is fine and everything is happening gracefully and properly there is no issues and it is giving 200 that means request is successful right this is 2xx series now we will talk about 4xx series so you might have seen about 
400 error or something right in some of your interviews people are asking so 4x6 series means they is a user problem they have done some mistakes while sending the request that's a user problem that is the main reason you are getting the uh, 400 error i will show you here is one of my so as you can see 400 request i am getting what does this means here the input data that is required is string but i am passing over here some invalid data that is the reason it is giving bad request this it's a user problem so any user client side issues if it is there then you will get 400 bad request that's the definition of 400 now we'll talk about 5x is 500 right it's a server side issue if there is some issue in the database or database entry is not happening or the server is down you will get a uh, 500 error so to demonstrate you the 500 error let me do one thing so to demonstrate the 500 error over here so it is not currently uh, possible to show you the 500 request but once you see the 500 request over here that means the, there is a, some server downtime or server issue i hope you got it so these are the important status code that you need to keep on your mind if you are testing the apis so these are some of the test results now there is lot of sections over here in the response section there is headers and test results so inside the headers there is key and value columns so the date is uh, today that is the day i am making this video content type is json all those data will be there right so you might understand this easily so now we'll see how to write tests in the postman okay so for testing the apis postman provides a beautiful feature to test the apis as well you can write your own test in the uh interface itself right so here suppose there is a get request api so in the scripts section there is by default some scripts will be there okay you can see over here and also the test scripts that are supported in postman is entirely in javascript environment there is node js environment right so here the thing is you have to write pm pm means postman dot test okay so the test results will be available in this response section test results right 
so here basically you have to write pm dot test and then you have to write the description and the function uh, dot pm dot response dot to dot have dot status 200 like that you have to write the response Similarly, you have to uh, write the response in the post API as well. Here the test is like pm.test successful post request function pm.expect pm. So basically you are validating the response code over here and also similarly you can write scripts in uh, put request put APIs to validate the response right in delete also you can write so basically in testing you have to do some assertions otherwise testing is not valuable so basically in API testing you are asserting the response body or response status code that's it but that is not enough you have to validate that db as well so that is the complete testing as a complete tester right so that is the value of testing if you do database testing as well because the response code can be correct but what if the entry is not made in the db that will be a big problem right so in that way you can validate the tests so today we have learned about the basics of API testing, how to create the request and how to write tests in Postman. Okay. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel and comment with any questions or topics you would like to see the next.